Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I hope everybody's doing good today. I have a story, and it's coming from my first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going down in Florida, you ask? What's going down is this, okay? So what happened is that, once again, we have another story coming from our favorite love connection site, Plenty of Fish, okay? So what's going down is that we have two people. They met on Plenty of Fish, and after four days, this damn female invited some man that she did not know from a damn can of paint to her home to sleep with him. So they were getting it on and, you know, doing their thing. Um, meanwhile, the man brought his daughter with him. And the daughter was in the living room playing with the Wii and the PlayStation and all that other shit. So, you know, while he was getting ready to, you know, leave after his smash session and get his daughter, he noticed, well, damn, this bitch has a lot of nice shit in her house. She got PlayStations and Xboxes and Wiis. Hmm, I might have to come back for some of this shit, okay? So anyways, that's exactly what he did. Later on that night... He basically came back to the house with his daughter, mind you, left the daughter in the car this time because he didn't want her involved in the robbery. It was okay for her to be there during the smash session, but not the robbery. So he leaves in the car, in her car seat. He goes back into the house, and this time he has his face covered with a bandana um, as if she wouldn't know that it was him. And he basically pulls out a gun, and he robs the woman at gunpoint, um, says, give me all your Xboxes, your Wiis, and your PlayStation. And so the woman starts screaming. Her father runs out, you know, to, to basically find out what's going on. He starts pistol whipping the father. He snatches up the Wii, the PlayStation, the Xbox, and he ends up running out the damn house, Okay. So while he's driving away from the scene of the crime, she calls the police and a police officer just happened to notice he had a busted taillight. So the police officer pulled him over. And so the police officer was kind of curious as to why one, this little girl was out so late at night with this man and why he had, you know, PlayStations and Xboxes and stuff in the car. And he claimed that, you know, he was picking up his daughter from his side girlfriend's house. You know what I'm saying? That the side girlfriend gave him the Xbox and the other paraphernalia. And so once the police officer heard the call coming into the radio, he realized that the description of the robber fit Kareem Mutcherson and he was arrested at that point in time. When I tell you, you cannot make this shit up. Only in Ratchet, Florida with some mess like this go down. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. In Marion County, deputies say a man left a three-year-old child in the backseat of a car while he committed a home invasion, terrorizing a family at gunpoint. Here is the mugshot for Kareem Mutcherson. News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza found out how deputies tracked him down. You could say it was a deputy's gut instinct that led him to a quick arrest of a man they say robbed a family in this neighborhood at gunpoint this morning. Tonight, one of those victims has a message for him. Don't try it again, because we'll be ready. It was around 2 o'clock this morning when this woman had a gun pointed in her face. She didn't want to share her identity, but she did agree to share her story with News 6. Marion County deputies say this man, 23-year-old Kareem Mutcherson, barged into the home, gun in hand. From around the corner, the guy was um, pointing a gun in my face. According to the arrest report, Mutcherson was involved with another woman who lived at the house. This woman says she'd been dating her brother for seven years. The report says the woman had met Mutcherson on a dating app just a few days ago and hours before the robbery had a romantic relationship with him. They had seen each other that evening and then later on that evening he came back and did the home invasion robbery uh, with the juvenile in the backseat of his car while he went inside to commit the robbery. While at the house, the report says Mutcherson pistol whipped a 70 year old man. A deputy who was en route to the house noticed a car with a broken headlight, pulled it over and found the description matched Mutcherson. Lauren Letlier with Marion County Sheriff's Office says Mutcherson is giving deputies another story, saying the gaming system was a gift. But she says there is enough evidence that's keeping him in jail tonight. The three year old who is in the backseat of the car, I'm told, has been placed with family members and is doing OK. All right. So you guys just watch that news clip. You know, I find the whole situation just ratchet and just crazy. You know, I feel like these two people deserve each other. Come on, ladies. You know, you cannot know somebody off of a dating app. And then after four days, you invite them into your home for a smash session. 
you know, that says a lot about this woman as well. If you're willing to bring a stranger, a complete stranger, nobody, you haven't gotten to know this man. You know, that's one thing that she went to a hotel, but she bought a stranger into her home. And there were other people living in that home come to find out she had her sister-in-law there her father, and she also had children. So if she could do this to this one man, imagine how many guys she's bringing in and out her home. You know, you have to be smart. You know what I mean? You can't just bring strangers that you're meeting out for plenty of fish into your home to have sex with them and think that nothing can happen. You know, this is just crazy to me. This woman is an idiot for what she did. This man is a complete idiot for what he did. It seems like she literally got screwed twice that day, okay? Not only in the damn bedroom, but when he came back and screwed her over by stealing her shit. Hopefully she learns from this and she stops his stupid risky behavior because imagine if this man had more sinister intentions like coming back to kill this family or burn their house down or imagine when the father came out if he would have just shot the father. You know, this is just insane. You have to be smarter than this. You have to realize that your safety and your family's safety is worth a lot more than a piece of dick, okay? Thank you. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.